Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new video. So today we're going to do the second video in the 3ds Max beginner series and we're going to be talking about a function called AutoGrid. Now if you know my channel you know I've been doing Maya videos for a long long time. I started doing 3ds Max videos as well so you guys can compare and the reason why I'm doing that is because I get a lot of questions what should I use Maya or 3ds Max. So in time if you follow these videos you should be able to make that up for yourself right? Now, today we're going to be talking about the auto grid function. It's something I've never seen in Maya and it is in 3ds Max and it's very cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and hit that little plus sign. I'm going to go to box. I'm going to left click and drag, pull that out, release, pull it up again and release. And there you go. All right. So we've got a simple box going on on our grid. Now, if I were in Maya and I wanted to create another box on top of this box, I wouldn't be able to do that. I would have to create it on the grid and then, you know, hit my gizmo and hit W and pull it up and place it on top. However, here in 3ds Max, it's different because of that auto grid function. Okay, so where is it and how does it work? Well, up here under the object type, it says auto grid. And if I turn that on right now, and just before I do, I'll show you what happens if I don't turn it on. Okay, so let's say I want a new cube here, or new uh, box, right? Okay, there you go. But what if I want to put it on top here? It seems that it's doing that, right? But if I flip around, you'll see it's not, okay? So I'm going to control Z. I'll get rid of that one as well. And what I'll do is I'll turn on the auto grid. There you go. Now, wherever I place my gizmo, that is where it will create a cube. So if I want it over here, it will create a new grid. But if I go up here on top of this one, you can now see that it's actually on top, right? And the cool thing is I can even go as far as to create one on the side or on this side or even cooler on top of the one I just created, right? So that's all there's to it, guys. It's a very neat function. Uh, I think it will come in handy for sure. Uh, I'm gonna dive into it and see if there's something similar in Maya, but I don't think so. If you think there is, please let me know in the comments, right? Well, that's it for this short little video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more of this stuff, hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time. Bye.